Good morning, peeps. We are making Salisbury steak today, okay? This is gonna be my first time making it, so let's do it. I think it's about a pound of uh, beef ground meat, and I am going to add some Tony Sasseries to it. You add however much you want. I'm gonna add some onion powder. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> All right, we're gonna add some garlic powder. We're going to add some minced garlic and some garlic juice, baby. That's gonna be good. Um, we're also gonna add some seasoned breadcrumbs. I'm also gonna add this, um, uh, which one is this? Hold on. The beefy onion packet to this. Ding dong. And we're gonna throw this away. Alrighty. Um, we're gonna add some Worcestershire sauce. This literally like amps up any freaking recipe when you add this. You know what, let me add all of it. Cause there's hardly nothing left in there. It gives it an amazing flavor. We're gonna add an egg. And we're gonna get in here with our hands. And we're gonna mix this bad boy up. My back is hurting. I don't, I don't know why it's hurting so bad. It's literally hurting on one side. Now, I did come on my um, monthly today. I'm thinking, does that have anything to do with it? Do you, does anybody out there ever have back pain uh, when they come on their monthly or um, before they come on it? Let me know in the comments, because it's weird. And you smell your meat, y'all. Smell it. And <laughs> you can tell if it's seasoned or not when you smell it. Mmm, that smells so freaking good. I do mean so good. Mmm. Okay, and you're gonna make patties. Some people make patties that look like a football shape patty, like that. And some people just make hamburger patties, y'all. But I'm gonna do the football shape this time since, you know, I wanna do something different. They're like that.
I have my um, potatoes boiling right now. Well, they haven't started boiling, but they in the pot um, for my mashed potatoes. I just don't know what greenery I'm gonna put with um, with this. I'm not sure. I might do some corn on the cob. I don't know yet. It seems like corn will be good with it. Okay. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six patties. All right. So we're, we're about to sear these. All right, y'all, so I chopped up some onions. I chopped up three really, really small onions, but you probably only need like mm, two onions, okay? But I did three and this is how much it is. Cause we're gonna put this in after we brown these um, uh, ground beef patties. We're gonna sop up all that goodness with this. All right, y'all, I think I wanna put some um, extra virgin olive oil in my pot. Just a little bit, not a lot. Before I put these uh, burgers in here and I have to let it heat up also. These are my potatoes boiling finally. We're gonna make some super good freaking potatoes. I can't wait. But let me wait until this gets hot. All right, y'all, so here they go. Put my ground beef footballs in. Move these bad boys around so everybody can fit in here. Boom, everybody's in there. So we're gonna sear these until, you know, to your liking how much you wanna cook them. But I'm gonna cook mine until they, you know, got a little crust on them. I'll be right back. Yeah, baby. That color right there is what I want. Perfect. Like this side cooks. All right, 
salt. I think I'm going to go ahead and take these off. Oh, yeah. That's what it needs to be looking like. Okay, I'm going to take And the ones that are on the side that didn't get as much heat, just move those to the middle. So they can get some heat. So they're not as brown as you want them to be. Yeah, that's good. We're going to stick these bad boys to the side. And we're going to add those beautiful onions that we cut earlier. Yum. It smells amazing in here. I would have added that, but I have chicken stock on me. Oh, chicken stock. <laughs> and this is going to be our delicious gravy. I think I'm going to add the whole thing. Yeah. those bits from the bottom of the pot. And we're going to add our meat back to the pot and just let everything pick it up. And cook all the way through.
if you have any juice in your uh, plate, pour it right on in, because it ain't nothing but flavor, baby. Flavor. Now, if you have a top, you should put a top on this, but I don't have one, so I'm not putting one on there. And we're just gonna let this cook until those onions are cooked all the way through and that gravy uh, has a nice, you know, consistency to it, a nice gravy consistency. It's gonna be delicious. I don't know how long it's gonna take, so you just, anyway <laughs> all right y'all so here we go so i peeled all the potatoes i put like half a stick of butter in here but i don't know if i'm gonna probably add more but i'm about to smash go ahead and smash these just a little bit get this butter down in there i like to put a lot of butter in my mashed potatoes y'all because it is so freaking good <laughs> when you put a lot of butter um I think I'm gonna add some more. I should have melted it first, so we wouldn't have to wait for it to melt. But here we are. And I'm gonna add some sour cream. Let me pour this out. milk just to get everything going to make sure it's nice and creamy I want your potatoes to be creamy and I'm gonna add some pink Himalayan salt and some pepper Uh oh. <laughs> and we're just gonna smash everything. Oh, and another secret, y'all, that I uh, figured out from making potato salad is you have to um, make sure that your potatoes are nice. And if you if you boil your potatoes with the skin on, and when you take them out, you have to make sure they're still kind of hot. Um, when you peel them uh, and when you add all of your ingredients it's gonna mix better you know what I'm saying if you let it if you let your potatoes cool off your ingredients are not gonna mix well with your potatoes it's like if they're gonna sit on top of the potatoes or something that's what I have realized so yeah make sure your potatoes are hot when you are uh, adding your ingredients and you know mixing it all up yeah I ordered my um, potato masher it's just not here yet they smell good already
All right, let me get these all mashed up and I'll be right back. Y'all, look at this. This is just some cornstarch in the, um, I had to put a cornstarch slurry in the gravy so it'll thicken it up faster. But y'all, look at this. Freaking yum. My first time making it. I haven't tasted it yet, but I know it's delicious. <laughs> I just know it, people. These are the mashed potatoes. They are delicious. Making a little bit of corn, and I have some cornbread in the oven. Some honey cornbread, yummy, delicious. All right, y'all, so I'm making the plates. Got the cornbread down, now I'm about to put down the potatoes. You want gravy just on your meat or on the potatoes too? Salisbury steak, y'all. This is my first time making it. Doesn't it look delicious? We have some potatoes, homemade potatoes, corn on the cob, and honey cornbread. Doesn't that look amazing? Who wants a yummy bite? Mmm, mmm. Yummy, delicious. Looky, looky. Look at this, y'all. These are ready to plant, okay? And I think I'm gonna plant them. But I'm gonna get me a pot with some soil and I, that's how I'm gonna plant these. Mm-hmm, look at that. 
I've never seen it like this, you know, to where it has the green, the, what is that? Are those leaves? I don't know what the hell it is. Anyway, usually it's just, um, like a, like a white color, you know, not the green. Very strange. But anyway, I'm going to plant them. What up, y'all? So... <laughs> When I tell y'all that food was so good, like, oh, I was shocked as to how much flavor. Oh, it was so good, y'all. So good. I'm like, <laughs> job well done, girl. Job well done. <laughs> For real. Y'all, but, um, I can't want my period, y'all, today. And it just hurts so freaking bad, like. It freaking hurts, y'all. I feel like I'm swollen. Like, let me see. This was really swollen yesterday. Um, it's come down a little bit, but I have a freaking pimple on my neck from it coming. Like, oh, it's so annoying. Like, it's so weird how people constantly, the same people constantly um, comment on my Instagram. It's like, okay you don't like the way i chew but you come back every single day to say the same thing it's like do you think my chewing is going to change or something it's weird anyway i guess it's just like on all of my other platforms same thing but anyway y'all are welcome say whatever you want um what's i gonna say I think I'm, I'm gonna go get those pots um, this weekend to plant uh, those potatoes. But I heard I was supposed to like been planted, like if I'm gonna plant potatoes, I was supposed to like been planted them. But I don't think it's like, do I have to plant in a certain month in order to, you know, to get potatoes or tomatoes? I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to have to research. But I'm, I'm going to uh, plant those potatoes, though. Most definitely. Anyway, I'm just outside trying to get some fresh air. I'm tired for some reason. I shouldn't be. Oh, I'm tired because I'm going through my monthly right now. I keep forgetting, y'all. I took some... um some pills to take care of these daggone cramps i was cramping real bad yesterday but i just didn't think i would be coming on it today y'all look at these lashes how long and friggin thick they are i didn't realize how big and long they were until after i put one on and then i was like oh my god i do not want to wear these but i didn't want to have to i had already had my makeup on i didn't want to have to wipe off the um the glue i was just like forget it i'm just gonna wear them so here they are yeah i don't usually wear lashes this long and thick but i'm wearing them today yeah and i felt like a ponytail today i did not want to wear my hair down i didn't want nothing on my neck area like uh -uh. anyway i'll be wearing my hair like this again tomorrow um and y'all, I might, uh, you know what? I may, because I bought some clip-ins a while ago. And I think I may wear them. I have, I literally have a lot, lots of pairs of, of clip-ins and different textures. Trying to find a texture like mine. Still haven't been able to do it because all the ones I have, they're not this texture. But... I think I might put them in my hair anyway. I think I might, y'all, and try to make my hair blend some kind of way. But we'll see.